This is Dan Zilnick, president of Bafara, coming to you on a sweltering hot day here in downtown Toronto. This week, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change put out a report, their first report since 2013, that summarizes the state of climate science. Mark asked me on LinkedIn if there's any good news in this report. 60 seconds on the clock starting now. One of the things that's interesting about this report is it is the most bold language the IPCC has ever used. They say that it is unequivocal that humans have caused climate change. Their models can now show a much stronger link between greenhouse gas emissions and atmospheric temperature changes. And they show strong links between the extreme and increasingly frequent weather events that we're seeing now around the world, floods, tornadoes, etc., and climate change. It is mostly bad news. If you're looking for good news, do not look to climate science. Temperatures have risen faster in the last decade than they did in the last two millennia. Put another way, since humans have been on Earth, the temperature has never gone up so quickly. Some damage that we're doing to the planet as humans from releasing greenhouse gases may be permanent, and we're coming very close to tipping points where we're either gonna see more unreversible things occur, such as oceans rise, or we're gonna see more um, feedback cycles where one thing leads to another thing leads to another thing that basically force multipliers and make conditions worse. Mostly bad news, sadly to say. So is there good news? Uh, Sort of. There's a tiny bit of good news in that they have drawn out a path to avoid the worst impacts of climate change. Now that path is not straightforward. It requires us to do two things. Half our human caused emissions by 2030. That is a huge amount of emissions to take down. So half our emissions by 2030, and every country in the world needs to create net neutral 2050 goals immediately. To be clear, it's very good that the developed world has developed these goals. It's very good that China has put together a net neutral goal. However, we see major emitters, for example, Brazil, India, and Indonesia, who do not have these goals in plan in place and do not plan to put these goals in place anytime soon. So we've still got a long road to go to meet the IPCC recommendations to reduce the worst impact of climate change. Speaking of climate change, it is really hot out here, folks. I've got to get myself indoors. See you next week. Bye.